Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Ray. And today we're going to be talking about my favorite deep conditioners. I am going through a series of favorites and um, I've already gone through my shampoos and my conditioners and detanglers. So now I want to talk about my deep conditioners. So I want to start out with conditioners that I feel are very moisturizing to my hair. And the first one that I want to talk about is the Camille Rose Naturals Algae Renew Deep Conditioner. This one has um, cocoa and mango butter in it. And I love this deep conditioner. This conditioner smells really good. It's um, It has a pretty um, medium consistency, not too thick, not too thin, um, but thick enough to really pack that moisture in, but thin enough to be able to coat my strands and not just sit on top of my hair. So I really like this one. This one is one that I go to if I have shampooed my hair and I need to restore all that moisture that the shampoo had taken out. I tend to go to this one. It packs a really big moisture punch and um, I enjoy it. This one, it does say to leave on your hair 10 minutes and rinse. I, um, I always do heat with mine. So I'm just saying that um, for those of you who don't normally use heat, uh, this is good to just put on, leave on for about 10 minutes and rinse. But if you like to use heat, you can also use heat with this. And I'm telling you, when you rinse your hair, it feels like butter. So I really enjoy um, this one. Another one that packs a really good moisture punch is the Camille Rose Naturals Coconut Water um, Penetrating Hair Treatment. The Maximum Hydration. I love the coconut water line. I've talked about it before, but this one is really good as well. This one has a slight coconut scent to it, so it smells really good. Um, it's thin. It's a little bit thinner than that one, so it really glides into your hair easily um, and uh, penetrates those low porosity strands if you have low porosity hair and give you that moisture boost that um, you need. So again, anytime that I've shampooed, um, or say I've had, um, you know, twist in for, you know, two stir in, twist in as a protective style. I don't often do that, but sometimes I do if I've had them in for a few days and um, have not had, you know, added any water or anything like that to my hair. Then when I wash it, I'll go in with um, one of these two to really penetrate my hair and get that moisture back into it that maybe it had lost over um, from shampooing or over the course of days that I've had twist in. Um, the next one, if you're looking for a protein treatment, um, a slight protein treatment, not something real heavy like the Afogee two step, but something just enough to bring those curls back to life, add a little protein to your hair. I like the Camille Rose Naturals. Uh, Nangi and Subaki Strength Restore Protein Treatment. I believe that's how you pronounce it. This one is really good. Um, smells really good. What I like about it is it's very thin as well. Um, it has somewhat of a tacky texture to it. Um, see how thin it is? And then it has somewhat of a sticky, tacky texture to it. Um, it doesn't feel sticky on your hair, but it just... It just helps to glide and give you that slip that you need um, to just go through those tangles and then actually just kind of coat your hair with that protein that you need to help restore um, those strands and rebuild those strands. So I really like this one. Again, if you're needing a deep protein treatment, your hair is damaged, your hair is color treated, um, then this may not be strong enough for you. Um, but if you just need something, just a little bit, a pop of protein, just to help um, revitalize your curls, give you um, that protein you need, because maybe you've been using moisturizing deep conditioners um, for a while, then this one is a good one. I really enjoy it. Another one that is a really good one is the Myel Organics. Um, I think it's Babasu and Mint um, deep conditioner. Um, I'll put a picture of it right here. I don't have it on hand, but I really like that one too. That one is another one that just kind of glides through your hair, has a lot of slip to it, and um, it really packs a little bit of a protein punch for people like me with low porosity hair who don't need a whole lot of protein 
because you don't want to get protein overly low, but you just need a little something to revitalize your curls. That one is a really good one. Now, when your hair is doing pretty good, it doesn't need protein, it doesn't need to be overly moisturized. Then what I tend to go to is a, is a deep conditioner that does both. It moisturizes, but it has a little bit of protein in it. So it's kind of balanced there. So it keeps your hair healthy. It keeps that elasticity in your strands that you need. And one of the ones that I go to is the Blueberry Bliss Reparative Hair Mask. This one um, does both. It's a good mixture of protein and moisturizers. So it keeps your hair healthy. It keeps it um, the elasticity in it so that your curls look good and look bouncy. So um, here, this is one that I go to. It smells like blueberries. I love the Curls Blueberry Bliss line. You know that I've talked about it in previous videos. So this mask is really good as well. It penetrates your hair. It doesn't sit on top. So it gives you just enough moisture and protein that you need to keep your hair and your strands looking healthy and balanced. So I really like it. And then the second one, the Obia Naturals Babasu Therapy Hair Mask. And I've talked about this one as well. This one is really good too. It is pH balanced. It gives you just enough protein with um, the added moisture that you need so that your hair um, looks its best. Um, and the only thing I will say about this one is not as readily um, available as the other ones that I've mentioned. The other ones you can definitely find in Sally's or your local beauty supply stores, and you can also find them usually at Target um, and probably Walmart. This one, I have not, it used to be in Sally's, but then um, the few Sally's that I've gone to lately no longer carry it. So, and I'm not sure about Target because I just don't go to Target enough to know how regular it is there. So I usually just order mine. When I get a little bit low, I just go ahead and order from the company and it's usually here in four or five days. So the turnaround time is um, pretty short. And again, their um, customer service is great. So I just go on the Obia Naturals website and re-up when I need this. So as well as their other products, like I said, their other products um, are not as readily available in um, the beauty supply stores as these. So I know I've talked about Obia Naturals Curl Enhancing, cu Curl Enhancing Custard a lot, um, which probably is gonna be coming up in my um, styling video for my favorite stylers. Um, and I've also talked about um, the Moisture Curl Cream and all of those. I just usually just order them. I used to be able to get them at Sally's. I no longer see them there. So um, yeah, so that's just a heads up. But anyway, that is it for my favorite deep conditioners at the moment. Um, again, it's not an exhaustive list, but it is um, a list of the ones that I go to most often right now that I'm really loving and enjoying. So any um, of these that you also use and you love, let me know that in the comments section. And if there's a deep conditioner that you like that I didn't mention, put that there too so I can try it out. I love to um, hear what you all use for your deep conditioners. And if you're liking my videos and my content, please give me a thumbs up and share my videos with friends and family. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, hit that bell so you'll be notified of any future uploads. And until next time, thanks for watching.